Jill Wright is one of Australia's most respected gymnastic judges. She's here today judging the Victorian Women's Gymnastic Championships, but in just a little over four weeks, she'll be off to the 2012 London Summer Olympic Games. Jill, you've been a judge for 34 years. Can you tell us a bit about how you got started? Well, when I was at uni doing my phys ed degree, it was a really good opportunity to uh, earn some extra money coaching gymnastics. So I had a little group of girls who became really good and we wanted to enter them into a competition, but we had to have a judge uh, in order to enter them. So another coach and I off we went and did our judges course and it just got wet developed from there and I really enjoyed it and just continued on. Wow, and now you're a judge of the 2012 London Olympic Games. Is this your first time being a judge at an Olympic event and how do you become a judge at an event? Okay, I judged at the 2000 Olympics in Sydney, which was absolutely fantastic. And in order to become a judge at that level, you have to have done the international judges course, uh, which I've done, and, and then you, you get ranked, and uh, I was ranked at the highest level, and so I was invited to attend the 2012 Olympics. So what is it that you're looking for in an athlete's performance when you are judging? Well, this, the, the, the gymnast gets scored on two separate uh, parts of their routine. One is difficulty, which is all about adding up how much difficulty they have. And the other one is execution, which is taking away deductions for errors they've made, like bent arms or bent legs, or a wobble on the beam, or not enough height in their leaps and jumps and tumbling, or any really major error like falling, which is pretty serious. And do you have any tips for our young Australian gymnasts? Well, we give our, Tulung, our gymnasts lots and lots of tips when we work with them. We work very closely with the coaches, but I just think they need to uh, make sure their performance is a really good quality. So keep the difficulty manageable and work on their quality and their um, execution will be to be as flawless as possible. Thank you, Jill. Uh, we look forward to seeing you on the judging floor and most definitely at the London Olympics. Thank you very much, Teresa. Wadsworth is here today competing in the Men's Victorian Championships. I managed to have a chat to him during the week in preparation for the event. Luke Wadsworth is a senior international gymnast. He's the youngest member of the 2010 and 2011 Men's Gymnastics World Championships team. And he's going to be competing this weekend at the Men's Victorian Championships. So Luke, what does it take to be a top gymnast? It takes a lot of time, commitment and dedication. We're training between four and six hours a day plus weight sessions, so up to about 36 hours a week. So a lot of commitment, but in the end it's all worth it. Sounds like it takes a fair bit of discipline. Yeah, definitely. Um, starting from a young age, so a lot of discipline when you're younger. Um, so training at hours, about 28 hours a week from about 13, so up until I am now. So yeah, it's going all right, but definitely worth it. And at the young age of 21, you've got quite an impressive resume. Gold medal in vault and silver medal in parallel bars at this year's Australian Championships. What's next for the future? Uh, we'll come with games in two years, so hopefully make the team for that. Um, win the team medal and all round would be nice. And then qualify the first Australian team into the Olympics for men. So they're the major goals and then world championships along the way. And how are you feeling about this weekend's Victorian Championships? Yeah, I'm pretty motivated. Um, good lead up for nationals, um, so routine's going well. Been a little bit sick, so missed a bit of training, but I'm very confident, so we'll see how we go. Good luck, Luke, and we look forward to seeing you there this weekend. Thank you very much.
For any questions regarding the show, log on to www.gymnasticsvictoria.org.au. Go to Gymnastics Victoria and select Contact Us. For future events, go to What's On and select the event you want to see. Want to know more about joining gymnastics or just find out more information? You can search for clubs in your local area using the club search function located on the home page. Just type in your postcode and select go. Want to be heard? Go to our Facebook page, like us and post your comments about the show. In the next episode of GVTV, we bring you highlights from the Trampoline and Acrobatics Victorian Championships. So stay tuned for all this in our October's episode. Until then, I'm Parisa Jafari and this is GVTV.